Hey guys, today we're going to be learning the order of operations. Today is a special video because today we have a guest. My cousin sister, Jo. Hi everyone. Now let's move on to the three O's. Wait, what are the three O's? Order of operations, O, O, O. Oh, okay, continue. Okay. So, Joe, do you know what the order of operations is? No, but could you explain it? Sure thing. Order of operations is a rule that tells the correct sequence of steps for solving a math expression. We can remember it by using a trick. Pandas. P is for parentheses. E is for exponents. N is for multiplication. D is for division. A is for addition. And S is for subtraction. The most important thing here is that when you're solving an expression, you always go left to right. So, Joe, what do you think we should do first? We should first solve the numbers in the parentheses. Correct. And so, first, we would want to solve this. So, first, let's just write our trick down. Pem P is for parentheses, E is for exponents. M is for multiplication, D is for division. A is for addition and S is for subtraction. Okay, now first parentheses, negative two whole square. That's gonna be four. So seven square plus four plus whole negative nine plus 11. Okay. Now we still need to do the parentheses. So now we would want to do the negative nine parentheses. So we would say seven squared plus four. Okay, so to get rid of the parentheses around negative nine, we wanna do addition times subtraction or positive times negative. And that would be negative. So that would be negative nine and then plus 11. And now we're done with the parentheses, so now it's the exponents. So 7 squared, that's going to be 49 plus 4 minus 9 plus 11. And then 49 plus 4 is 53 minus 9 plus 11, 53 minus 9. 44 plus 11, which is, and that is 55. going to be, so the answer is going to be 55. Now, second question. So, Joe, do you think you know what to do here? Hmm. First, you have to do all the numbers in the parentheses. And, well, there are a lot of parentheses here, so which parentheses would I do? The first one, no. The minus 7 plus 4 minus 2. Correct. So now if I just... Negative 7 plus 4, which is? Negative 3. So negative 2 times 7 divided by 10 minus times negative 2. There. Now we still need to solve this part. So negative 3, negative 2 is going to be? Negative 5 times 7 divided by 10 minus times negative 2. And then negative 5 times 7 would be? Negative 35. And then divided by? Okay, so we're done with whole, this whole half of the question. Now we want to do the other half. So 10 minus times negative 2. Here we want to get rid of the negative two parentheses around here. So this would mean that we want to multiply. So negative times negative is? Positive. So that's going to be 10 plus two. And we want to do 10 plus two, which is? 12. And so that is going to be the answer negative 35 over 12. 
Okay. Joe, what do you think we should do first? We should first do the parentheses. That is 8 times 2. Or 2 is, times 8. Yeah. And 2 times 8 would be? 16. So we would write the whole thing. And 2 times 8 is 16 minus 5 over 15 plus 3 times 2. Okay, now we need to do this part with two in the brackets. So that's going to be two squared, and two squared is going to get four. And now we're going to have to multiply four to three, and that's going to give us 12. Divided by 16 minus five, divided by 15 plus three times two. Okay, now we're going to first have to do this part and here so Joe now what should we do three by four minus five by one but how did you get three over four so we have to reduce 12 divided by 16 and that would get us to three over four so, 3 over 4 minus 20 by 4. When we actually um, solve it, we would get negative 17 over 4. Okay. So, now, here, okay, I'm going to shrink this a bit for some space. Okay, there we go. So now the numerator is going to be my negative 17 by 4. Okay, and now the denominator is just going to be 15 plus 3 times 2. So we're done with the numerator, but we still need to solve the denominator. So what would we do first in the denominator? We would multiply 3 and 2. Correct. And 3 times 2 would be? 6. So we're just going to write 6 over here. Okay. And now we want to do 15 plus 6, which is? 21. Yes. Now we are going to divide. So negative 17 over 4 divided by? 21 over 1. Okay, so this is going to change to 1 over 21. And now just multiply, and that's going to get us negative 17 over 84. And that is our answer over here. And so that is it for today's video. Before we all go off, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I would also like to thank my cousin's sister for joining me in this video.